Hello, Stampers. I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Welcome to my Sunday night stamping class. I'm really excited to be back with you guys. I missed you. Hi, Jolene. I see you're the first one coming in here. So I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. We were in northern Wisconsin this weekend. It is, um, hang on, I got a hair on my glasses here. It is um, hunting season, northern Wisconsin. So Haley and Val and I went up there and we had a fantastic time. Like, those are our people. We love them. We really have a good group that we hunt with. So it was a lot of fun. And can I just say that I've been up since 5 a.m.? <laughs> Like, that never happens. <laughs> Haley slept a lot of the way home. Val slept a lot of the way home. And then we traded when we had like about an hour left. And then Val was fussy and I was not getting any sleep. So I got, I got kind of cheated out of that. <laughs> That's okay. That's what moms do, right? Yeah. So, um, yeah, we had a fantastic time. The weather was beautiful. We had a surprise 30th birthday party for one of our hunters. She was surprised. It was really fun. Um, Haley was excited because we got our own GPS. It's a tracking system. And um, it was so funny because she's like, Mom, I'm just so excited about this. This is like the biggest game changer for me. She kept calling it her second born. That's how much she loved it. <laughs> so, yeah, I've never... Um, I didn't invest in one because they're pretty expensive. So that was a big jump for me. And I bought it last year after season. So um, this was the first time I got to use it. And oh my gosh, can I just say my husband, he was so good to me last week. Oh my gosh, we just stayed in Phillips. Lisa, Lisa just said hi from Phillips. We were in Phillips at the Super 8. We get a hotel room since Val's been born instead of staying at the cabin because she still wakes up in the middle of the night crying sometimes. And I don't think our hunters would appreciate that at all. <laughs> no. So, um, what else was I going to say before Lisa said hi from Phillips? I forgot that you were in Phillips for Pete's sakes. Um, yeah, so I didn't get any sleep today. And uh, I'm feeling pretty good, though. I'll probably be exhausted when we're done here tonight, and I might go to bed early. I was talking about Steve and how wonderful he was. See, I just have to ramble a little bit, <laughs> and then it all comes back to me. Um, Steve was so good to me before we left because I was so busy last week that I didn't have time to think. And um, I, I got my, we use CB radios. I got my CB radio out, my handheld radio, this new GPS system that I bought. And I took it downstairs in the kitchen and I said, can you put the CB in the truck for me? And I want you to put the antenna on the top and then pull it down so that it comes down in the door next to the seat and then pull it around so that when we're opening up the doors on the truck, it isn't getting in our way and we're not getting tangled in it. And he like looked at me like, are you crazy? Sometimes, mostly. But uh, I said, you know what I mean, right? And he's like, yeah, I know what you mean. He goes, maybe. And I said, you can do this for me. And then I handed him that GPS system, which was still in the box and still wrapped in plastic. And I said, can you please take this out and look at it and make it work for me? <laughs> My gosh, that's asking a lot, right? But he did. He put the batteries in. He said, here's how you turn it on. This is all you have to do. And then we took it up north and we had to program different um, numbers into it to make it work. But he was just so, so good. He took the truck and he washed it and he, um, which is totally unnecessary because it's very dirty. Um, he took it to the gas station and filled it up with gas. And it was like, yeah, he got the cooler out for me. He was like my rock star, my rock. It was so wonderful. So I wanted to give you guys a John update. Um, John has been a little more active lately. And he was actually outside trimming his front yard trees today when I got back from up north. And um, it looks like he's getting ready to put the spiders in the tree for the season. Spooky spiders hang from John's trees. And um, Connie is coming next weekend to help with the retreat packing. We've got a big retreat happening this week. If you guys happen to miss it, I'm so sorry. But um, we've got a huge 
three, four day retreat with business training for demonstrators and then retreat for our stampers. And um, I have help coming in. Kathy's coming over this weekend and Connie's gonna be here from Marquette. And we are going to crank this retreat out so we can get it out in the mail for you. But um, the reason why that my, sparked my memory is because Connie was here at this time last year. And I think, and I'm pretty sure she saw the spiders in John's trees. So she knows what she's, I'm talking about. Spiders, spooky trees. Yeah, for Halloween. And um, what else? Oh, I was really proud of myself. I walked into the woods. Um, we had to go into the woods about 600 yards today. And um, trucking through the woods, all the way in, all the way out, I never broke a sweat. And I just thought, oh, my bike riding and my walk that I go for every day has really paid off because I wasn't huffing and puffing and I was keeping up and yay me. it was awesome. <laughs> take a picture. Mickey says, take a picture. Um, I'll see if I can do that. That's a good idea. I'll take a picture of John's trees with the spiders. We'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, the other thing that I wanted to talk to you about, I wasn't here last weekend because we were down in Branson, Missouri. My stepdaughter, Stephanie, got married just in case you missed it. I've splashed it all over Facebook. We are so excited for her. Um, so here's what happened. They were going to, did I tell you guys this yet? I don't think so. I don't think I did, right? Because last week I was in Missouri. Yeah, okay. <laughs> did I? In time, you know, it just gets away from me. So anyways, um, Stephanie and her fiance, Lee, um, they decided to get married, which is fabulous because he's just amazing. And um, they were looking at a destination wedding. But then with COVID and travel restrictions and all the crazy going on, they decided not to go out of the country. They were talking about maybe, um, maybe uh, Mexico. And... Um, so then they decided they fell in love with Branson, Missouri, because Lee is his name, Lee and Stephanie. Lee won a big um, giveaway from Bass Pro Shops, and they have resorts down in the Branson, Missouri area. And so him and Stephanie about six months ago went down to Branson. They kind of fell in love with that Ridgedale area. And so they decided, well, maybe they'll get married next year in Branson. That would be a destination wedding. That would be fun. And then all the questions started piling in and people started asking her, you know, a million questions like, well, where should we stay? And do you know what the dates are? And, do you know? and they're building a house right now. So she was like, oh my gosh, I can't deal with all this. And so Lee didn't want her to be stressed out. She didn't want to be stressed out. So they decided to elope. Yeah. And, um... Lee knew that Stephanie would wanted her family there. Like this was just the easiest thing to do. But um, he knew that she really wanted her family there. So he told us, listen, we're eloping. We're getting married on August. No, what is it? It's September, September 10th in Ridgedale, Missouri at this resort, Big Cedar Lodge. And if you can make it great, if you can't, we understand. This is short notice. So we all cleared our schedules and headed to Missouri. And um, Haley and Jared came with Val and Anna and Scott came with Molly and Andy. Um, we just had a wonderful time. We rented a great big like um, kind of rustic house in this resort area. So all of us could stay in one house and Stephanie was blown away. We got to the church. So there were some comments on my Facebook page that weren't very nice. And I'll talk about that maybe a little bit. But um, everybody's like, how could she not know she was ma getting married? She did know she was getting married. What she didn't know was that her family was there because it was just going to be her and Lee. And when they opened the doors to the church for her to come in, we were all there. And there stood her dad right there, her dad and her um, Stephanie was married before and her husband died in a tragic accident, but her dad was there to walk her down the aisle and her um, deceased husband, I guess that's how you say that, Nick's dad was there to walk her down the aisle. So Nick, her husband that died, 
his mom and dad came too. It was so spectacular. And oh my gosh, I'm tearing up already. We were all in tears. It was just so fantastic. And Lee pulled the whole thing off. Stephanie didn't know a thing about it. Like we were like so quiet the week before we left because I was afraid if I call her, I'm going to blow it. I'm going to say something. She's going to go, what? Like, um, yeah, well, we're going to get ready to go to Branson. Whoa. What? You know, I was just so afraid that somebody was going to blow it. And then we're all coordinating because her kids came down. Lee's got two little boys. Stephanie's got two teenage boys. And they all came down. And we're all like messaging each other. Turn your location devices off. Snapchat has a map. People know where you are. You need to turn all these things off so she can't figure out that you're, you're headed to her. So it was just a huge feat. I'm shocked we could pull it off. Um, it was. Everybody said, oh my gosh, everybody cried. Like, people that don't know her, you guys were crying. And it was so sweet. And because the um, video was so, like, touching and heartwarming, it got shared 183 times off of my page that you're watching me on right now. And when that happens, this is what's good for my business, is when you guys share my video, it goes out to gazillions of people, which really helps me grow. Up here. are your eyes were leaking. I love that. But um, what also happened is it went out to 183 different people's pages and all their friends got to see this. And that's where the nasty comments started coming in. You can see right through her dress. Her dress had a nude slip built into it. It was supposed to be that way. Um, you know, why would you say that to a bride on their comment on their thing like that, right? And then, um, how did she not know she was getting married? Does she wear a wedding dress every day? Oh my gosh, read. Um, it was just like, Duh! so anyways, that's when I posted that I was not very happy. But um, it, we're going to get away from the negativity. But that's why it happened. It wasn't you guys. And when I was made aware that there was stuff happening that wasn't really pleasant, I went and started looking. I don't recognize a single name of the people that were making those nasty comments. It was not, I said, that is not my stampers. My stampers are nice people. So don't give it another thought. But anyways, that's what was going on. So it was just the coolest thing. We had so much fun. Steve and I then ended up staying until Tuesday before we came back. And what a beautiful, beautiful area. It was just so gorgeous. I know Cindy said it. She made her tear up. I know. Every time I watch that video, I tear up again. Um, it was funny, too, because when Stephanie actually opened the doors to come in, I had just run out the front of the church. She was coming in the back. I had baby Val, and she started squawking. She's like, nah. I'm like, oh, my Lord, she's going to start crying. Stephanie's going to hear a crying baby in her church. What is going on? So me and Val ran out the front door. So I got to watch the video, too, and I, it was fine with me. I was like, yep. I'm good with this. You guys stay and enjoy this. And, you know, again, there goes the mom thing. That's what we do. Yeah, Kathy says, just shut up, people. I know. I don't understand why people feel the need to make snide comments on really anybody's stuff. Just scroll by. Just scroll by. If you don't have something nice to say, don't say anything at all, right? I don't know. That's the way I was brought up. And who wants to create all that drama? Ugh, nobody needs it. Anyways, can't steal my joy. Um, all my kids are married now. And can I just say that Stephanie's husband is, oh, he is just the nicest, kindest, most thoughtful, um, integrity up to here. He's just a really, really cool guy. So um, I'm so excited for everybody that he's a part of our family and we get him, <laughs> right? We get him, love them. Um, okay, anyways, want to let you guys know, I have lots of classes going on right now. We have Peaceful Deer. You can order the whole bundle and get my online class in Make and Takes um, for free. You can order the kit if you already have the bundle, and you can get a few consumable products with Make and Takes, all cut for you, ready to roll, or you can order the online class. That's Peaceful Deer. The other thing I have going on right now is the Whimsical Trees Kit. That's my monthly kit class. It comes with product in it. It's $46, and you have the opportunity to add the bundle on for $61.50. It all includes tax and shipping. So, yeah, Sandra says, I don't know why people have to create drama. I know. 
I know, I just think they're very small and I just don't know if they don't understand the gravity of their comments, maybe. Um, yeah, I don't know. We're gonna let it go. We have to let it go. I don't have time in my life for all of that drama, but I can tell you that on that day when I wasn't made aware of the comments that were being left, Mama Bear went into full on, somebody's gonna die. No, I won't kill anybody. <laughs> But I was full on mama bear and I was like, oh, no, you don't. So we're done. Don't raise my blood pressure. <laughs> the other thing I have going on, you guys, is bingo. And bingo registration is going to close on Wednesday. I think at noon central time is what I usually say. Bingo is $35. It's cards and bingo. It's a card class with bingo thrown in between the cards. So it's super, super fun. We are going to be using the Bright Bobble stamp set, Welcoming Woods, and Sparkle of the Season. Those are the three bundles, or stamp, one of them is just a stamp set, the Welcoming Woods, whatever. Bundles are a stamp set that we're gonna be using for the Make and Takes for Bingo. Now, when you register for Cards and Bingo, you will get a Make and Take packet with product in it. So it's going to have like embellishments or ribbon or designer paper, I haven't made up my mind yet. Um, but $35 for bingo, you can add on any of those three or all three of those bundles. And um, we play bingo in between each card. Now, if you're not registered for bingo, if you don't live in the United States, because you need to live in the United States to, to register for bingo, this is a free card class and you can come and watch it. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, oh, and the bingo packet includes like 15 to $20 in consumable products. So the other thing that I wanted to make sure you guys, nobody's getting away from me, it's celebration time. This is so strange that we're having celebration in August and September, right? Um, but we do, for every $50 you order, you get to choose a free item out of here. Wanna make you guys aware that the Be Dazzling Designer Series paper, if you don't already know this, it is gone. We ran out of it, it was just incredibly popular. So that's no longer an option to choose, but everything else in here is still available until the end of the month. Also, when you join my team, and if you are not getting a discount on your stamping supplies, you should be because we love discounts, right? But when you join my team during the month of, well now September, right down here at the bottom of page 19 are um, a bunch of bundles. There's 12 different bundles in our holiday mini catalog. You get to add one of these on free to your kit. So, ooh, Cindy says she just got her bedazzling paper. Good for you. Um, we were using it for a class. So yeah, we were kind of freaking out. <laughs> it's, it's hard when things are gone. The other thing I wanted to let you guys know, I have several of you waiting for the turtle punch bundle kit. The punches went on back order and they're supposed to be in now this next week. I think the 20, not this week, but the 27th, they're supposed to be coming into the warehouse. I am watching that like a hawk. So don't worry because as soon as those are in, boom, I'm going to get them and get them out to you. Um, COVID is still having some problems um, with inventory. And, you know, that's kind of what's going on here right now. It's taking a long time to get that punch and it's due to, you know, shutdowns and quarantines and all the things going on. So I'm just glad we're still getting product, right? Look on the bright side. My glass is always half full. <laughs> okay. Um, if you have any questions about joining my team, please has, don't hesitate to reach out to me. The best way to reach me is through email, okay? If you leave a message here, it's possible that I might miss it because there are so many comments coming on here. And I see Tina just asked about the harvest dies. I have the inventory list up here, Tina. And I'm gonna tell you here in just a second because I saw that they were on here. So let me find them again. Oh gosh, I thought they were right here. But the best way for you to get in touch with me is through an email. My email address is kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at astampabove.com. I noticed um, tonight that somebody um, left a, a comment on my last Facebook Live a couple weeks ago saying they would like catalogs. Oh my goodness, I need your address, so please email me. I'm happy to send you catalogs, but 
email me. That's a better place to reach me. Um, Tina, September 20th is when the harvest dies are expected back in the warehouse. So that's this week. Keep your fingers crossed because sometimes we have to delay it again. It's all about, you know, being able to get the product and it's been a problem. Um, I Somebody, I, I don't know if I saw it on the news, but they said there's like a ton of ships sitting in the port waiting to be unloaded. Yeah. Oh, is Haley on here? I see Debbie said me too, Haley. Haley's Haley's on here. Yeah, so um, email me, email me. And please make sure you're sharing this video. Sharing is caring. Um, when you do that, that helps me grow my business. So you can click someplace on your screen right now, whatever kind of device you're on, is you can click on there and share it. And that really helps me out. I appreciate it. The other, th oh, I know, I need to get my, my iPad. Knocked me out because I was yakety yak yak yak, right? <laughs> That's how I roll. Um, let me get logged in here so I can see your comments once I turn my phone around. Here we go. Okay. There we are. Comments. There they come. Okay. I just swiped it like a pro this time. No, like, goofing around. I got it. <laughs> I know I usually have so many problems. I'm like, how do I do this again? Bah. So I have, I thought I was only going to do two cards for you tonight, and then I forgot that I have a technique card I need to share with you, so I'm excited about that. And um, I also have mail to share with you. I have swap cards to share with you, so we'll see if we have enough time for that tonight. You guys might get sick of me. Um, and what else? Mail, swap cards. Oh, and I got some more cards in with, we're going to be using the um, Blackberry Beauty Specialty Designer Series paper. Oh my goodness, delicious. And I got some swap cards in the mail. I just opened my mail up today in over the weekend or whatever when they came in. Anyways, I'm just going to say I just got a bunch of them today to share with you. So they're beautiful. Um, yeah, you guys like the pictures of, of Val at Bear Camp. One of the little boys that's that comes up and is there every weekend. Um, he is four, I think. They bought him a battery operated pickup truck like that you can ride in. And um, they put decals on the back of it. They built a little wooden dog box to put in the back. It's just hysterical. It's on my story if you guys missed it, but it's so funny. And Val loved that truck. So I was just outside showing Steve some videos of it because he's in the garage. And um, he goes, oh, so now I'm going to have to buy her one of those. I said, yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> it was so cute. Anyways, um, does anybody have any questions for me? Somebody missed my comment on the catalogs. Oh, I just, Lori, uh, no, you email me and request catalogs. Give me your address and I'm happy to send them to you. Your orders pay for my postage and the cost of the catalogs. So no, I don't charge for my catalogs. I appreciate your orders to help me offset that cost. But um, yeah, I'll get them out to you right away. I'm home all week. Yay, I'm excited. Okay, are we ready? Let me move my screen. Uh, Darlene says she loved my pictures. Thank you, Darlene. Yes, sometimes I get some nasty comments about those pictures too because not everybody appreciates our activities in the Northwoods of Wisconsin. And um, I don't care. This is my platform. See you later. <laughs> Somebody is looking for home for puppies. That's not, this is not the place to post that. Thank you. <laughs> um People spoke and they agree. Oh, you guys think I should post more pictures of Val from bear hunting. Oh my gosh, I have a gazillion of them, you guys. They're, she's just so photogenic, isn't she? Everybody at bear camp was just kept looking at her going, she is just the most adorable child. I know. <laughs> I'm a little, little biased, right? Yeah. All right. Um, why is my phone not plugged in? Hang on. I got to find a plug here. Get that plugged in so we don't run into any problems there. Keep those pictures coming, Rhonda says. All right, Rhonda, you're going to be so sick of her. <laughs> I don't think you could be. Okay, let's flip this around. Hang on. You guys, if you get motion sickness, close your eyes. We're going down to the desk. See if I 
and get everything in here. Ooh, that looks really close, doesn't it? Hang on, I'm gonna try and push that up a little bit. All right, so we talked about my blog and my email address, I should say. This is my blog. It's www.astampabove.com. Hang on, I'm still adjusting. There we go, that looks perfect. And then this is my current host code. So if you put in an order and your order is under $150, please put this code in where it says host code. That really helps me out. It's what allows me to send gifts to people, which reminds me, I didn't do our, our prizes. So we're gonna do it with the camera flipped around. There are three ways to win fabulous products from me. The first one is by leaving a comment here tonight. So if you're new to me, or maybe you just forgot, please don't forget to leave a comment, and it can be anything. You can just say hello, you can say hi from Spokane, Washington, or wherever you're from, whatever you wanna say. But you need to leave at least one comment. Thank you, Patty, she said she reported the spammer. Thank you so much. Um, leave one comment and that'll get you in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. These are the cute stars adhesive back sequins. These are fantastic. I love that they already have sticky on them, right? And um, for leaving a comment on my last Facebook Live is Beverly Holcomb of Scap Scapoos, Oregon. I don't know if I'm saying that right. That's quite a name. Scapoos, Oregon. These are going to be coming your way tomorrow. So congratulations to Beverly. Woohoo! Next up, I have some of these um, dandy laser cut paper and I just found these in my door prize draw or my door prize box. I've got a box of stuff that I'm like, oh, this would be good to give away for a door prize. These are all laser cut pieces that go with the um, uh, wish garden wishes. And this is for sharing my video last time. So everybody who shares my video gets entered in a drawing to win a prize. And Mickey Banky of Menominee, Michigan, I know you're watching tonight, Mickey. I saw your name roll by. These are coming to you, congratulations. And I'm really excited that you're on here. I hope you're jumping up and down right now at home. <laughs> it's almost like being on The Price is Right, right? Come on down. <laughs> Next up, I have one thing that I found in my closet here. Oh, let's see if I can get this open again. I found a packet. I made up ex a couple extra packets of the um, annual catalog kickoff because, oh, that's just a little treat, because sometimes these get lost in the mail. It happens very infrequently, but this is the annual catalog kickoff, a whole ton of um, make and takes, and also some designer paper and some really pretty embellishments. This is the Expressions and in Ink Ephemera Kit and also some of the Loose Flower Flourishes. This will be coming with a an email with links to video tutorials showing you how to put this all together. This is going to be showing up for Lori Turner of Merritt Island, Florida for placing an order from me between the last time I did my Facebook Live and tonight. So you also get an entry for placing an order. So congratulations. We've got Lori and Mickey and Beverly. Happy Mail is on its way. And I will get those out hopefully tomorrow. All right, what are you guys drinking tonight? I had actually some of that, um, what is that called? Pure tea, you buy it in the bottle, it's unsweetened. I had some of that earlier today, but I've switched back to my strawberry lemonade again. You know how boring I am. <laughs> I am a creature of habit. And then I wanted to show you guys, remember these that I made? Um, I don't even know when I made them. Was it on my last Facebook Live? Yeah, but as you can see, these are those little tombstone boxes. Look at how many candy corns I have left. This is it, people. Yeah, I must have got a little nervous last week because I came home and there's only four left. Pathetic. <laughs> Love candy corn. I had a couple people send me um, uh, advertisement for ranch salad dressing that is candy corn flavored. I don't know about that. What do you guys think of that? Mm, I don't know. That's creepy. I don't think I need it. 
Okay, we are going to be doing a technique card right off the bat. So, let me get this out here. Cut all our bits and pieces. We are going to be using Peaceful Cabin. If you were in my last bingo, we used this and we made the most beautiful fun fold with this card. It was amazing. So, ooh, Debbie's got root beer. I just saw root beer flash by. Hang on, I'm gonna turn my fan on because I'm getting kind of warm. It's It was really warm today. I got back to Menasha and I was unloading the truck. I was just sweating my hiney off. <laughs> okay, the other thing that I'm gonna bring in is the Tailor Made Tags dies. These are really nice. You get all of these tags. Like all of these tags with their little, these are little tag to put holes in tags if you need to. That's what these little deals are. But look at all these tags. Aren't they just, oh, love it. These all come in one pack. So we're gonna be using these. Our card is going to be using almost all basic white and a little bit of basic black cardstock. So this is five and a half by eight and a half. I've already scored it at four and a quarter and this is our thick basic white cardstock. I always like to use that for my um, card bases. Gosh, it seems like forever since I was here, doesn't it? I really miss you guys. I miss when I'm not on every week because then I forget. Well, what did I tell you guys? I don't want to tell you the same stuff over again, you know? Like, I've got lots of new content happening in my life all the time. <laughs> it's never very boring, which is good. Then we have a hair. We'll get that out of there. We have a piece of um, basic white cardstock, and this is just four by five and a quarter, and this is going to be used for the front of our card. Now, I've got Balmy Blue and Memento Black ink here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stamp up the inside of our card. And this Peaceful Cabin is just so beautiful. This is like one of our distinctive, it looks real, like your images look real. Our sentiment says your kindness, kindness makes the world a more beautiful place to be. And who isn't gonna need to hear that, right? I should send this to some of those negative Nellies that were making snide comments. What do you guys think? <laughs> yeah, just, you know, just kill them with kindness. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we're using black and we're gonna put that right in here. Oh, that turned out perfect. And get this closed up before we dip our card in it, right? Next, we're gonna grab these amazing trees. Now. You've got three trees on here. I only need two of them. So I'm just gonna ink up two trees. And that's the balmy blue ink. And I'm gonna put them right here. And already, isn't this just like, whoa, that's pretty, right? I love this. And it's a little different to have blue trees, but you'll you'll like it when I'm done here. I'm, I'm sure of it. Okay, next up, as long as, this is a basic white envelope. As long as we're working here, I'm just going to stamp some trees right on the front of my envelope so I have a nice matching envelope to go with my card. And here comes this one. Now, we are going to ink this whole thing up. This is our four by five and a quarter inch white. This is a really big stamp. So when I have big stamps, I like to kind of turn them over and stamp them so I can see what's going on here. Make sure I've got ink all over them. I am going to stamp just like this. Oh, so pretty, right? We're gonna ink it up. Let's see, do I wanna? Um, I think I'm gonna clean this. Let me find my cleaner, Where? here it is. Now this is a stamp chamois and it's spelled S-H-A-M-M why? I almost said I eat, but it's why. And this chamois is like the best cleaning thing ever. I don't know how it works. It's like magic. It does clean your stamps. I had somebody say, does that really clean your stamps? Yeah, it really does. Look at perfectly clean, perfectly clean. Yeah. I, I don't know how it works. I don't understand it. And it makes me a little crazy that I don't understand it, but it is amazing. All right. We're going to take, I don't know if I really needed to clean that. Probably not. 
we're gonna take this and I'm just gonna stamp it right there again. So I've got kind of a, a group of trees. We've got a little forest going on here. I didn't need to clean it. But now you know about the chamois in case you missed that someplace. But yeah, that's clean, it's beautiful. And then we are going to take um, our house. Oh, I need a scrap of basic white. So we're gonna take a scrap of basic white here and our dye. We've got our tag dies here. Oops, hang on. I don't wanna get these all goofed up. We're gonna use this biggest one. This is the, the biggest one from the left side. We're gonna die cut this, okay? Run that through your die cutting machine. Ooh, look how fast that was. Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> and now we're going to take our memento. Nope. I lied, you guys. We need um, Versamark. Or er, Versamark. We need stays on. Sorry. <laughs> See, this is what happens. I'm a little rusty because I was gone for a week. <laughs> we're going to use stays on ink. Do we do this first or last? Hang on just a second. Yeah, we're gonna do this last. See, rusty. We're gonna color this first. Sorry, you guys. Blending brushes. You get three blending brushes in a packet. And can I just say, these are so, if this wasn't dirty, I would be rubbing it all over my face because it's so soft and amazing. We're going to take the blending brush and when you use one of these you want to start blending off of you don't want to start on your layer you want to start off your layer and then come in and brush and give lots of pressure and you just keep swirl 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 more ink and you can make this however dark you want it to be See, I've got these splotches here. That's why you start off of your layer. Pretty, pretty. You can do some beautiful, beautiful backgrounds with this, all kinds of really cool things, but we're gonna do a technique called water lifting. Now we're gonna use stays on ink. And the reason why we're using stays on ink is because you need a waterproof ink to do this technique and stays on is definitely that waterproof ink. And we're gonna stamp this right on our tag. Oh, look at that cabin. Now, this stamp set is fantastic for all kinds of things, but what pops into my head is masculine cards, get well masculine cards, happy birthday masculine cards, um, you can definitely use this for Christmas. And then this little thing, I wondered what that was. I thought, well, maybe that's a shadow for the fox. There's a little tiny fox here. It's not, it's a cloud. So um, don't try to use it as a shadow because it will not turn out well. Just trust me on that. But this is a beautiful, beautiful stamp set. It comes with a whole set of dies. I don't even have those out here. Let's see, let's look and I'll show you what they look like. I would dig in my drawer, but it's, may take me a while and that's so annoying right um let's see if we can find here it is cabin dies are on page 38 you guys know there's like a whole um um table of contents or whatever you want to call it back here i love the way they're doing our catalogs now but here's a whole suite look at this page 36 we've got all of these beautiful ideas here's a whole suite there's some beautiful paper that coordinates with this really well and here oh, it doesn't really show the dies very well it's hard to see but just trust me they're amazing the dies are beautiful too okay um back to our card I got a squirrel oh my gosh you guys I should load this video on my Facebook page um today we stopped at McDonald's I know I know I shouldn't be eating McDonald's, but I did and it was glorious and then I felt miserable because I ate too much. Um, but we stopped at McDonald's and we had to pull up while Haley went and got the right hamburger that she was supposed to get. 
And there was a black squirrel on the tree right where I pulled up. And so I took a French fry and threw it out there. And the squirrel grabbed this great big French fry and went up on the tree and sat there and ate it in front of me. It was so funny. Um, anyways, so, yeah. Next, we're going to grab our water painters. And our water painters come three in a package. You get one that is super big, which is cool for all kinds of different techniques. You get one that is medium and one that is small. So you get three different brushes in one package. And I don't know how much they are, like if they're nine or $12, but it's a really good deal. And the only thing I can tell you about these that's a little different is when you go to unscrew this, it's backwards. It's like you're tightening it. So just know that you take this off, you put water in it, you put this back on, and now you're going to loosen it to close it. So it's a little weird. I think it's probably European, maybe. Not that Europeans are weird, but it's just, they make things differently. <laughs> Let's, I wanna make that perfectly clear. Okay, so now we're going to take our water. I'm gonna grab, well, this is a baby wipe that I left out last week that's dried up. I'm gonna pull that water off just a little bit. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna come in here. Oh, and by the way, this is thick white cardstock. It's not basic white. It's thick. You're going to come in here and you are going to pull that color off the roof line. And that's all I'm doing. The water, do you see how it's getting white? So this is called water lifting. And I'm going to do it right here in the snow. It looks like it's getting darker at first and then it's lighter. Can you see that? Isn't that neat? So this is called water lifting. You also get the same effect if you were to take like this and squeeze some water into the end and then flick it, it'll give you polka dots that will bleed a little bit and look like water spots all over. So yeah, somebody just said something funny. What was it? A man made these water brushes. <laughs> Donnie, you're probably right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was, that was mean. But anyways, this is my technique for last month for August. And everybody that's in my technique club gets a card made with the technique, which is what we're going to do here. And also this instruction card that tells you how to do these techniques. And you can keep these and you can put them, hang on, I'm going to grab mine. You can put them in some type of a container, not this container, because we don't sell these anymore, but these were our old wood cases. And I have a whole bunch of these in here. And so I've got the instructions on how to do it and then a sample of it. And these are all my technique cards from years and years in here. But this is a basket weave, which is pretty cool. How to color ribbon to make it any color you want double time stamping. Um, when we used to have brush -o, that was really cool. Here's a wrinkle-free distress technique, all kinds of really cool stuff. So um, this is what my Technique Club members get. And we're gonna finish up this card now. Uh, we have to do one more thing. We need a sentiment. And I'm gonna make this into a um, thank you card. Oh, I need my white embossing powder, hang on. Here's my white embossing powder. Now, everybody always asks me about these containers. These are um, Systema, S-I-S-T-E-M-A. I think um, a friend of mine bought them for me. I think they're from Costco maybe, or maybe Ikea. I don't remember, but they're really nice because they have a locking lid. We're gonna take a Versamark ink pad, which is a watermark ink pad and we're going to ooh, stamp thank you which I put away so hang tight oh look at here's the die I cut this out with the die it's got little peek through windows on the porch here isn't that cute well it's not cute it's beautiful all right let me grab a little block here this is our thank you so I'm going to use Versamark ink and I'm just going to stamp my thank you right down here, put a little white embossing powder on it. 
Doesn't that look cool? I love black on the white, or white on the black. It just really pops for me. And let me put this away because we all know the disasters that can happen unless you don't have any embossing powder. And if you don't, you should probably join us so you can be a part of that, what would I call it? Club, the disaster club with embossing powder. It's really not that bad, I'm just kidding. I love embossing powder. You're gonna emboss. And once that's heat set, we're gonna have this, okay? And you need to tip it in the light and make sure that it's all glossy. If you see anything that's dull looking, hit it with that heat tool again because you haven't finished setting the embossing powder. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to cut this, I'm cutting it close. I'm cutting it close to the bottom. Let's see, how did I do? Oh, that looks pretty good. And then we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it under our tag. So I'm gonna put it right on the tag, just like this. And isn't that sharp? I just really like this a lot. And I'm gonna put a little bit of glue, just like that. I'm gonna bring our tag in here. Make sure it looks straight, it looks a little crooked. There we go. That looks much better, okay? And, Where'd I really go? Right here. This is also part of that suite. This is our white glittered organdy ribbon. Mm, so, so pretty. So we're gonna put that through the tag. Pull right here. Oh, hang on, I can't get it. There we go. Oh, I got my nails done too for the wedding. Isn't that like just classy? I didn't want it to be too obnoxious. <laughs> I do love bright colored nails, you know that. <clears throat> but yeah, for the wedding, I wanted to, to be a little classier. And I got my toes painted the same color. So that was fun. Here we go. And then I'm just gonna cut this at an angle. Just like that. We're gonna put some dimensionals on the back. Let's get out my little basket of goodness here. I got minis and big ones. Let me turn my sound off on my laptop over there so it's not bugging us. How about if I just close it? That's even a better idea. Okay, here goes our dimensionals. And I'm also going to put one on the back of my tag. I really want that to stay up there and not get smashed in the mail so it doesn't have all that nice dimension. And then I like to use my take your pick tool to pop these off the back. It just goes much better for me. Since I have acrylic nails, they're kind of hard to get a hold of. And we're gonna bring this in and we're gonna set it. Now, I'm just looking at my tag, my little thank you tag down here and I wanna make sure that I'm putting this in the right place. The rest of the tag doesn't really make that much difference. <gasps> Look at how pretty that is, you guys. What do you think? And we're going to add this to the front of our white card base. It's down here. There we go. What do you think? That's okay, Bonnie. You can watch from the beginning when we're done. What do you guys think? Isn't that pretty? So, so pretty. Where's my, where'd my envelope go? Here it is. Who isn't gonna love that? Like, that's awesome. This is a great thank you card for a man too. If you ever have a need to make thank you cards for a man, like they come over and, you know, help do something at your house or maybe your mailman went above and beyond. This is a great thank you card for them. Since um, my, Haley's husband is a mailman, I kind of am partial to being really nice to mailmen. I never really thought about it before. Not that I was mean to them, but you know, they walk 12 miles a day. <laughs> Did you know that? That is completely obscene. That boy, we should sh we should set up, um, does anybody see my stamp cleaner? My chamois? We should set up a, here it is. 
We should set up a shoe fund for Haley's husband because he literally walks like 12 miles a day. It's crazy. I never thought about it before, but those poor mailmen. You guys be nice to your mailmen. <laughs> okay. Now, let me set this aside. And we are going to have some fun. Put this back. Right on my, there's all my water pens. Again, these are called water painters. Let's see if they got an item code on here. 151298. But if you go to my online store, you can. there's a little magnifying glass. You can just type in water painter. These will pop right up. You don't need to remember numbers anymore, which is really kind of nice, right? Okay. We'll get these out of the way. And we have some more printies. And this needs to go back in my bin. I've got so many things packed up. I was making videos for our retreat. And... Um, I'm doing a whole set of make and takes with the Penguin Place bundle. So I got stuff packed up all over the place. It's kind of, well, it doesn't look that horrible in here, but it's, it's a little disaster -y. All right, you guys, next what we're going to do, who is in love with the Blackberry Beauty Suite? Like, it's so, so pretty. Like, so so beautiful. It's got this specialty paper. So pretty. I love these deep, rich colors. I think they're just so... Mm. You almost want to eat them. Now, don't let me forget to show you. I got a bunch of swap cards in the mail while I was gone. And I want to share those with you, but don't let me forget, okay? Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Hang on. Where'd that card go? Let's get this back in here. I was going to embellish this. That's why I have these laying out. These are the opal rounds, and these are pretty cool because you can color them with the Stampin' Blend markers. So here's a red one with gold flecks in it. And they're kind of, well, they're not gold flecks, they're iridescent flecks is what they are. And I wanted to do a little bit of embellishing on here because, well, why shouldn't you? I've got these things, use them, right? And I think I'll put one more right over there. There we go, now we're complete, you guys. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Get these out of the way, but yeah, isn't that neat? You can color them, and I love that because then whatever color stamp and blend markers you have, you can make whatever color embellishments you want. Next up, okay, now we're ready for this beauty of tomorrow. I think we are going to do this card first. Hang on just a second, I have my little note so I can tell you what sizes everything is. Here comes the stamp set. It's called Beauty of Tomorrow. And then we have these beautiful dies. Look at this. <gasps> There's one for the bird in the stamp set, this beautiful leaf. And then this and this, cut these out. We have some neat little um, like paint splatters, some beautiful fonted words. I love this. Some people are just likable. You're one of those people, right? Those are the kind of cards I would like to make for the people that were mean to me and my family. I'm done. I'm done now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, here we go with all our bits and pieces. So let me get this out of the way. Oh, and the gold shimmer ribbon. Where's that at? Oh, this, you guys, this is on back order. That's what I was going to look at. Um, this specialty paper is on back order, but I think it's going to be in next week. Let me check quick. I was looking through all of these so I could tell you guys what is going on. Um, now I can't find it. I should have written it down for Pete's sakes, Kelly. Here we go. Gold shimmer ribbon. The week of October 4th, this ribbon will be back in. And when it comes back in, you guys, I recommend you get two rolls. It is just incredibly beautiful. Yeah, and that looks like that's it. It's just the ribbon that's... Maybe somebody knows different. I'm looking at all the things that are on low inventory, which doesn't really bother me too much. Oh, the paper. The paper is gonna be available next week also. It's supposed to be the week of the 27th, so this designer paper. Okay, sorry, sorry for the delay. Um, next, oh, let me get a new, oh, hang on, 
My light just fell down. It's never good. And it whacked you guys, too. I'm sorry. I hope nobody got hurt. <laughs> yeah. We're going to be using cinnamon cider. This is our um, five and a half by eight and a half. I like this color. The more I use it, the more attached I get to it. Like, it's just a really pretty brown. Brown? Orangey brown? I don't know what you'd call it. Then we have um, a piece of basic white for the inside. Now this is this is four by five and a quarter. And what I did here is I've got I had a half inch strip in my package. I thought, ooh, this would look pretty on the edge. So that's what I decided to do with it. Was just put it on the edge of the paper. That's going to go on the inside. Because the party should not end when you open a card, right? Oh, yeah. There we go. There should be some pretty on the inside, too. Okay, we're going to throw this right in there. Those people need extra prayers, Mary said. Yes, you are right, Mary. You are right. I hope I'm on the right conversation there. Yeah, the ribbon is gorgeous. Uh, Patricia says getting two is a great idea. It really is. This is just one of the most spectacular ribbons we've ever had. And again, it's called um, Gold Shimmer Ribbon. It's beautiful. Okay, we've got a piece of Rich Razzleberry. And what did I do? Oh, all of these prints are just so, so pretty all of these prints and there's gold in them. You can see the shimmer. That's why it's called this specialty specialty paper. There's gold in each one of these. And I love these owls. There's owls on this. It's so, so pretty, but we're going to be using the leaf one. And this is pretty too, right? Okay. So we've got that. We've got this. We are going to, where's my stamp set? Here it is. We are going to stamp our sentiment for Trazzleberry ink. I'm getting hungry. What did you guys have for supper? I ate so much today at McDonald's. I hope Bev's not watching. She'll be like, Kelly, what were you thinking? I know I ate so much at McDonald's. Rich Razzleberry ink, I just stamped. I know this is a difficult day. And we're going to use the Label Me Lovely punch. This is a fantastic label punch. I love punches. They just make my life so easy. On cinnamon cider. We're going to add some dimensionals to the back of that. Cereal. Debbie had cereal. Oh, lots of cereal tonight. Look at that. Lisa had a salad. Good for you, Lisa. Baked potato, I see. Pulled pork, oh, pulled pork. Steve said he infused some pork chops. I see somebody said pork chops. He infused some pork chops. Whoops, I shouldn't have done that yet. With um, teriyaki and then grilled them, I think. He said they were to die for. They were really, really good. We're gonna take this big sprig image and we're just gonna, um, I use Rich Razzleberry ink and I'm just going to stamp it right over here and just look how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? I love this. All right, we're gonna put this, oh, I put glue on the back of this layer. This, by the way, is two by five and a half. And we're just gonna leave it over from the edge a little bit so we can see that rich razzleberry over there. Isn't that pretty? Look how pretty that is. I know, right? You're just like, oh, so gorgeous. And then we're gonna put this on the front of our card. And don't you like that cinnamon cider? Like, I just thought this card was like, whew, that's really striking. Oops, hang on, I moved it. There we go. Okay, um, you know what? I shouldn't have put these on here yet. Uh, nope, it'll be okay. I'm gonna take a little bit of Seal Plus, and this label is gonna go right here 
but I want to add a little bit of that gold ribbon under my label. So here's what I'm gonna do. We'll see if this turns out okay, because it might just be a colossal mess. It might not look good at all. I didn't, I made a card, but I, I didn't do this to it. So, <laughs> so we're gonna take this on a test run, people. Now we're gonna take the back off of these. Oh, I like it. <gasps> what a great idea. I'm like, I should put some of that ribbon behind there. I'm gonna trim this just a little bit because it's... <gasps> what do you guys think? Isn't that pretty? We're not done. It's kind of plain, right? You guys know I need a little bit more bling than that. We are going to grab Uh, Rich Razzleberry Scrap, no, um, Blackberry Bliss. Blackberry Bliss with Rich Razzleberry, I think is just stunning. And I've got a tiny little piece of gold foil here. So we're gonna grab the dies. And they got all these little leaves in here. I'm gonna take this biggest one and I'm gonna die cut it here. And then I'm gonna take one of these little ones. I can get it off. There we go. And I'm going to die cut on the blackberry and then I'm going to take one of the other smallest leaves and do it on the gold. Okay. There we go. Okay, we're going to run these through a die machine. Oops. fast I am. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a miracle, right? It's a stamping miracle. <laughs> We're going to attach this leaf right here. Leaf. Leaf. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right on my label and bring that in. Just like that. Then I'm going to add this one. This is the gold one. Kind of right on top here. What do you think of that? We're doing pretty good, right? And now I'm gonna add this other Blackberry Bliss. Oops, I just stuck my finger in the glue. Blackberry Bliss leaf right over here. Oh, we have embellishments. Oops, hang on, where'd they go? Here they are. Wonderful gems. This is, these are wonderful for Christmas, but look it, this has gold in it and this has gold in it, right? I know. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. You are so sweet. Jerry says, beautiful. Judy says she loves these colors. I know, right? Blackberry, cider cinnamon, and rich razzleberry. Who knew? Yeah. All right. And we're going to put, let's see, let's put, drop one right down there. And then I want to grab a little one and put that right up here. There's our embellishments. Can you see the sparkle? <gasps> Now, last but not least, I want to decorate an envelope. And I'm going to take this Spriggy stamp. Hang on, let me get this wiped off. That looks like I was a little heavy handed with the ink. And I am just going to stamp that right here. Beautiful. I don't think you could go wrong with anything in this whole suite because it's just so rich, isn't it? It's so rich. Thank you guys so much. I love this too. Now these cards came about because I do a bundle swap. I host a bundle swap and it's between other demonstrators and those demonstrators are hand picked to be in this group because I know they're good stampers. And so, um, the beauty of tomorrow was our bundle swap for August and I just got all these cards in to share with you. So I'm excited to share them with you. So hang tight. Um, let me, I've got one more card to share with you using the suite because I had to design two cards for the swap. So this was one of my swap cards. And now I'm going to bring in the other one. Did you guys see my Versamark ink? Like, what did I do with that? I've got... Uh, 
Hang on. Here's my stamp set that I used it on, but I don't know what I did with it. Oh, good Lord. Oh, another thing I wanted to share with you. This is the Blackberry Beauty Ephemera Kit, which is really cool. Don't worry. I have another Versamark ink pad. I don't know where I put that one, but whatever. Um, we're going to make one more card with this. I'm going to show this to you just in case you haven't seen it. I've used this, too. You can see that I've been using it. I'm not going to use it tonight. It's hard to use this on a swap because you have to make multiples of it. But look at those owls. Aren't they just the coolest thing ever? Look at that. Yeah. So all these things are die cut for you. There's labels. There's frames. There's all kinds of really cool stuff in here. Let's see what else we got. We got these. They just pop right out. Oh, this is one of my favorite sheets right here. Come on, you little bugger. Yeah, it's getting caught on something because I have some of them coming out. Look at these. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah. Holy cow. Oh, I think I used this in the annual catalog kickoff. I think everybody got one of these. So you guys should watch my um, watch for my events that come out. We have um, annual catalog kickoff we did um, with a big make and take packet. It's like a it's like a whole big online event. And then we did, we're right in the middle right now of doing the holiday mini catalog. That's going to be this coming weekend. Those are super fun and you can attend no matter where you live because it's all, whoops, it's all virtual. All right, we are going to move this. I'm going to set this over here by that other card. And now we're going to bring in some more goodies. Here we go. Look at all of this, huh? Okay, have you guys seen the cork paper? Like, it's paper, but it is actually textured and looks just like cork. It is the coolest thing ever. This is in our holiday mini catalog. And again, when you go to my online store, you can just type in cork in that little magnifying glass area and this will pop up. It is the coolest thing ever. So what we're going to do here, we have Blackberry Bliss, and this is four and a quarter by 11. I've already scored it at five and a half, and we're going to take that and fold it. Um, I've got a four by five and a quarter inch piece here for the inside, and also this time we're going to be using this side. Okay, this is a side that I was like, huh, I don't know. But wait until you see this card because this paper just is so, so pretty. It's hard to cover this up, right? But this doesn't go with what I'm doing. So just trust me. You'll see in just a second. And if you, if you wait until this paper is available and you order some, I am always recommending you get two packs of the designer paper because then you will use it. If you don't get two packs, you will hoard it because you're always going to wait for that one project that never comes along or that you don't have time to do at some point and you're going to hoard that paper. What I'm finding is when I buy two packs of designer paper, I use almost all of it up. I don't know why. It's just this little mind game I play with myself. It seems so ridiculous. Hang on, I just got glue on there. I'm going to have to wipe my hands off. But that's how it works for me. And I know I'm not alone. Okay, I gotta get the glue off. All right, next, this, we, got, we have the inside done. The other thing I'm gonna do is I have this designer paper and I am going to use this side on here. This is two and a half by six and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on my envelope flap. like that. I like to kind of hold it up and push it up there to the top. Make sure I've got it all the way up there. And then trim it from the back side so you can follow the line of that flap. There we go. Gorgeous is that, right? 
Whew, Kelly's hot. <laughs> so I'm, I'm glistening a little bit right now. <laughs> okay, next thing we're gonna do. We're gonna take this four by five and a quarter and we're gonna put this on the front of our card. And yep, you're watching me put glue all over that beautifulness because I want this side. It'll be okay. Nobody's gonna cry, right? I have two packs of the paper, so I'm not worried about it. <laughs> then we're gonna take this cork and we are going to grab our rectangle, stitched rectangles. These are called rectangle stitch dies. You get a million of them in here. Well, 13 is close to a million, right? <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna use the, from the smallest, we've got one, two, we're gonna use number three and number five. And we're going to put this on our cork. I'm gonna grab some temporary tape here. And I'm going to do my best to center the inside to the outside. Tape this down and run it through your die cutting machine. And when you do that, you're gonna have a frame with stitching around the outside. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna set that down. Then I've got a scrap of Blackberry Bliss and I am going to use Versamark ink with, does anybody see my stamp set? What did I do with it? Did I set it over here? Good grief. Oh, here it is. <laughs> what happened to my stamp set? I know I was using it, right? Okay, we're going to clean this stamp off. This is that big spriggy deal. Make sure it's good and clean. That looks great. Ugh, I just dropped my piece in there. And now we are going to Get that little thing out of my ink pad there. What that is. We're gonna ink this up. And we're gonna stamp it right on here. And then we're also going to take the I'm here for you with Versamark ink. And we're gonna stamp that right over here. Close up your ink pads and get out your gold embossing powder. Now, Stampin' Up! has gold, I think gold, silver, and some other color, and they're metallic. Um, let me look here. In their metallic embossing powders. Gold, silver, and I think copper, or bronze, I don't know. But three colors with gold and silver. <laughs> I don't know what the other colors are. Who knows? Who knows what they are? but they're called metallic embossing powders now. There we go. And now we're gonna heat set this. Let me put this away. Lots of embossing, pretty fancy tonight, right? We are going to get that embossed. Uh-oh, hang on, I lost something. Well, we knew it would happen at some point, right? Now, some people like to take their heat tool and wave it around and hold it way up here. You don't have to do that. Hold it right there. You can see it turning. It's just like magic. I love to watch the magic happen. See it happening? You just want to move it along once it turns glossy. Do you see how this is still not glossy? That means it's not done. There, now it is. Isn't that cool? Okay, once you have that done, we're going to take the die that die cuts this sprig out. Hi, Carol. I see Carol Fox is on here. And we're going to die cut this, okay? 
and here it is. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> We're gonna take the words over here and I just cut them out. So I'm just gonna cut however you feel comfortable. You could put this in your paper trimmer, but I'm just going to cut it because I've got them really, really close. This is a small little I'm here for you phrase. And then I'm gonna cut this back, whoops, cut the bottom off here. Do you like how I just fling stuff all over the place? Yeah. <laughs> I know. Um, let me put this in here. Okay, we're ready. We're ready for assembly. So, what we're gonna do is find our mini dimensionals in our frame. We're gonna put our frame on with, oops, mini dimensionals. This looks kind of like craft paper on the back of the cork. This cork paper is so strange. I just keep, I'm really mesmerized by it because it really, it, 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 I don't know if it really is or not, but it really looks like cork. It's crazy. I don't know how they do that because it's paper thin. It's pretty neat. But this is also, this cork is amazing for man cards. Like, what man isn't going to see that cork and go, whoa, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're also going to put some dimensionals. I've got the big ones here for this. And then we need some dimensionals only on one side of this little tiny greeting. And let's see. I think I'm going to cut a sliver. I like to cut little slivers of dimensionals from the edges when I need to. So you only want to put that on the back of the left side. So just like that. Okay. All right. Let's grab this, this. Now you want to hang on to these so you don't tear your little frame because it is delicate. This paper is pretty, it's pretty thin, even though it's cork, which is why I'm like, I don't know how they make it. It's pretty cool but you want to hang on to it so you don't rip it. Then we're going to take the dimensional off of here. And here. I'm going to take the frame and put it on first. Make sure I got my card right set up. And we're going to put it at a, we're tilting it, angle it, whatever you want to call it. We're going to bring this in and we're going to put that right here. So we're putting this on top of the frame and then we're going to add a little touch of glue right on our frame and we have the dimensional on that side so we can go just like this. Oops, hang on. Don't stick yet. I'm not ready. There we go. What do you guys think? Isn't that cool? Right? Hang on. A little bit more. We're going to take this beautiful gold ribbon, gold shimmer, and we're going to tie that in a loose knot. I'm going to trim this pretty small. I don't want it to like take over my whole card front. Grab my mini glue dots. Gonna put that right here. Oh, I love it. Okay, here we go. What do you think? Isn't that cool? I hope you can see that cork. It's just the neatest stuff. I'm just so mesmerized by the cork. It just looks so real. So, there's one of our beauties. Here is the other one. Oh, you can make up a whole set of these, right? Then we have this one, which uses the water. Oops, let's do this. Am I still in my frame of screen? Yep, I am. The water lifting technique, which lifts the color 
off after you've put it on there. Pretty cool. Okay, who would like to see some more of these cards? Because I wanted to share my swaps with you, right? Yeah, so let me move this off. Hang on, make sure I don't lose any dies or anything. That would make me not happy. All right, here comes. Oh, thank you guys so much for the hearts. You are so sweet. Here comes these Beauty of Tomorrow. You guys are gonna just like go, oh, look at how pretty this is. There's gold shimmer paper in that suite of product and that's what this is die cut from is the gold shimmer paper. Isn't that pretty? And then these are little in color dots. Mm. Pretty, pretty. Here comes another one. This is Blackberry Bliss with polished pink, I believe. And they chose those colors because that's what it tells us in the paper. Polished Pink, Blackberry Bliss, Rich Razzleberry, Early Espresso, Cinnamon Cider, and Gold Foil all match the Blackberry Beauty Specialty Paper. Isn't that so pretty? Let's see if we got anything on the inside. Nope. Okay, next. <gasps> Look at how beautiful this is. Yeah. Gorgeous. Love it. Love it with the gold dyes in the back there. Oh, this isn't the same paper. <laughs> this is a different swab. <laughs> but it is beautiful, isn't it? This is with the with the harvest. <gasps> harvest sweet. Yeah. Okay, we'll set that over there. <laughs> you guys ready for this? Oh my good lord. This is a step card. Yeah. This is pretty pretty advanced stamping here, but is this not spectacular? Like, holy cow. This is from my friend Lori. She makes beautiful stuff. Oh, so pretty. Here comes another one. I love this. I love this over here. Isn't that just so gorgeous? Yeah, it's really pretty. Very, very pretty. And here comes the last one I have to share with you. What? Look at that. Ah, oh, the, these are the owls, that owl paper, which is just like, oh, delicious. This is different gold ribbon that we have in the annual catalog, I think, but so, so pretty. All right, I have mail. You guys are so sweet. You're all hanging in here. <laughs> all right, here comes one of my mails. Let me see. Okay, isn't this pretty? I love the bright, pretty flowers, and the stitched flowers are so cute. Thank you for everything. Kelly, thank you so much for my happy mail. I was super excited when my prizes arrived. Hard to believe I won a card challenge and a drawing. This is from Debbie. And Debbie, so here's, there's a little story here. Debbie won a card challenge that I do. She's part of my team. And she won a card challenge, which was really cool. And I sent her a really nice prize or a couple things. And then I had her name written down. And for a drawing that I did, I accidentally thought it went to Debbie. And I mailed it to her. And it was supposed to go to somebody else. So she sent me this beautiful, nice card thinking she won two times, but she didn't. So then I'm the butthead that has to get in touch with Debbie and say, hey, did I send you the clever cat set and something else I think it was? And she goes, yeah. And I'm like, that was a mistake. <laughs> so she had, she offered to send it on to the person that was supposed to win it, which was Debbie Foster, who's also watching tonight. And she's on my team. <laughs> So I felt like such a jerk, but she was so gracious and just so sweet about it. So thank you for making me feel less of a jerk, but I really did feel like a jerk. Okay, here comes one from Julie Schulke. She says, Kelly, thank you for stamp, the stamp set and dies, mesh ribbon and the snowflakes. When I saw that I won the Bay Window Car Challenge, it was like, wow, never thought I had a chance with all the other beautiful cards. Thanks again, Julie. Congrats on the new grandson coming in March. And what a beautiful card, Julie. And you are very welcome. 
and thank you for participating. Now this was, yeah, this was the bay window challenge that I did a few weeks ago. And she won a whole bunch of stuff. It was really fun. That, that giveaway was great. Oh, I'm not supposed to show people's addresses. I'm sorry. Um, and then look at this cool one. This is from Wendy Sue Winter. Again, another one of my team members. She goes, Kelly, have a fabulous time in Utah. Wendy Sue, I think the team needs to take a field trip there. I would love that, Wendy. <laughs> that would be so much fun. Okay, you guys, I think that's it. I think that I am going to eat the rest of my candy corn. I'm gonna go outside by Steve because I'm really glistening a lot right now. I don't know why I'm so sweaty. <laughs> it is pretty warm here. But I'm gonna eat the rest of my candy corn. And tomorrow is a new day. I hope to go for a bike ride and a long walk because man, did that make it easier for me trudging through the woods this morning. And I've been up since 5 a.m. So I don't know if I'm going to get all these pictures taken. Well, the pictures of the stuff we made tonight and posted on my blog tonight or tomorrow morning. Probably tonight. You guys know how I am. I'm kind of crazy that way. Anyways, did anybody have any questions that I happened to miss? What's the difference between the two gold shimmer ribbons? I see one in the annual catalog. That's a really good question. So let me show you. I love that question. Um, here's some. This is the difference. This is very, very shiny. And this is just kind of glimmery with a glittery look to it. So that's a really good question. This is also thinner. I think this is three eighths of an inch and this is maybe half an inch. Let me look. Let's get out our handy dandy ruler. Quarter inch. This is quarter inch and this I believe is yeah, this is 3 8 inch. They're both really, really nice ribbons. For sure. But whichever one you like better. But they're both really nice. Thank you for asking that. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Everybody's like, thanks for the cards tonight. You are so welcome. Thanks for coming back. <laughs> I always hate when I'm gone because I do miss you guys. And I'm always just so grateful that you come back and watch me again. I really appreciate it. Um, don't forget, you will find all of my online classes, my kits, the bingo registration. Everything's on my blog. Just scroll down until you see the thing where it says click here for online classes. That'll take you and show you all the classes I have available. I have some old classes on there like products that are retired now that you may have that you would like a kit for. They're pretty cool. But all the registration is on my blog right here. And if you plan on placing an order, and you guys know I appreciate your orders. It's what keeps me in business and helps me pay my bills. This is my current host code if your order is under $150. If it's over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get rewards from Stampin' Up! And I want you to have them. But when your order is under $150, nobody gets any rewards and yet, unless you use this code. And then I get the rewards so I can give away free prizes, which is really fun for me. All right. Anything else? Ah, oh, Barbara says I made her evening a relaxing evening. You are so very welcome, Barbara. I'm so glad you could join me. Thank you all so much. If I missed any questions, please feel free to email me. My email address is kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at astampabove.com. Okay, Kelly at a stamp above .com. That is the best way to get in touch with me. And um, I've been gone all weekend, so I know I have quite a few emails sitting there waiting for me. And so be patient. I will get caught up. And um, I hope I see a lot of you this weekend at the um, holiday retreat that we're doing online. Oh my gosh, we're going to have so much fun. Okay, you guys. Thank you so much. Have a great week. I will be back live again on Sunday. I think I have a blog hop on Friday with the Totally Techniques that I'm hoping I can participate in. My week is crazy this week, so we'll see if I can actually get her done. But um, otherwise, I will be live again on Sunday, 7 p.m. Central Time. That would be September 26th. Have a great week. Bye-bye.